Okay, so for this example, I think it's going to be easier if we think about it as a table. So we have our x values and our y values, our inputs and outputs. <clears throat> so for an input of 1994, we're calling that the year zero, so the starting year. We have 1,200 pandas. And for the next year, in 1995, which we call the first year, we have 1,000, so it decreased for that year, saying if the rate is the same decrease, <clears throat> so we're losing 16.7% pandas each year in this exponential model, then how about how many will we have in 2013? So to find the actual rate that's going to go in the formula for B, or to find the actual B value, we're going to use 1 plus the rate, <clears throat> that rate of decreasing 16.7%. So we get about, we get this value, which is 0.833 repeating technically because this value up here is negative um, 0.166 repeating itself. So knowing that, it's asking us to find A. So now that we have an input and output, we actually have two sets of inputs and outputs, how can we find A in this equation? So now we know what B is, and we can take a combination of our x and y from our table and we can find a. So it doesn't matter which coordinate we choose. In the example they used 0, 12 and a half, or 1,200. You could also use 1, 1,000 and it should get the same exact value. Now make sure if you're using a b value of 8 or 0 0.8333 repeating and you plug in the 1 and the 1,000, your a value is still going to come out to be 1200. <clears throat> so we we know x, b, and y, we're trying to find a. So hopefully this helps on where those numbers came from. It just comes from the table of values, the input and the output that match. <clears throat>